Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we're joined by two members of Denodo. Suresh Chandrasekharan, who is the Executive Vice President of Denodo, and Linda Ehrlich, who is the Australia and New Zealand Partner and Alliance Lead. Denodo is a leader in data management. The award-winning Denodo platform is the leading data integration, management, and delivery platform using a logical approach to enable self-service BI, data science, hybrid multi-cloud data integration, and enterprise data services. Sudesh and Linda join us today to tell us more about Denodo and their new partner program. Thank you both for coming along and welcome to the jam. Thank you. Thank you for having us. You're very welcome. Well, let's get straight into it. We've spoken to Denodo in the past, but for any new viewers, could you please remind our audience what Denodo's key products and offerings are? Sure. Uh, Denodo has been in the business and uh, data, data integration and data management market for the last 20 years. Uh, a brief history of the company is, was, comes out of a university. Our CEO was a professor and along with his uh, PhD students were very deep into data management. They started the company with the idea of integrating structured, unstructured data in disparate sources. The company has now come a long way. Uh, we are now headquartered in Palo Alto in California, but we have presence in about 25 countries. Uh, right here in Australia, we're in Sydney. We have people in Perth as well as in Melbourne. We have two offices and uh, we're a global company. And uh, as you rightly said, we focus, we're a leader in data management, but we do it uniquely. While there are many companies in data management, Denodo platform takes a logical first approach powered by a technology called data virtualization. And with that, we're able to not only integrate data in real time or near real time as a preference shell, and also we can uh, do other things, but we manage a logical data model and the canonical way of, or a semantic way of presenting the data to the business. So that's not all technical mumbo jumbo. And then we deliver the data in multiple formats through a data marketplace or a data catalog. So when you put all that together, it's a, it's a very powerful platform that's currently serving about a thousand global customers, um, you know, uh, all very large names, uh, as I mentioned in about 25 countries. Well, now I guess following up from that, what are the most recent improvements or innovations in your offerings? Yeah, so um, what, when we recognize the different personas that interface with the data management uh, spectrum, uh, I would say we originally were focusing on the data engineering, uh, you know, the data pipelines, if you will. So some of the more recent things that we have done in the product is put a lot of emphasis on the citizen data consumer. So are the um, business analysts, the data scientists, uh, individuals. So our data catalog has a very strong AIML recommendation engine, just like you would go to a uh, a first class, uh, you know, uh, like a website e-commerce and they say, hey, you bought this camera, you should buy these lenses. Similarly, we are able to recommend data sets and we believe that is increasing data democratization and consumption of data. Then we work backwards from there. We have built a lot of uh, what we call active metadata capabilities in our metadata management or management area and policy-based access control. So you can now automate. So if you look at our platform, a lot of the advancements are not only feature function, but everything we do, we are adding AI ML to it. So when we come to coming back to the management, you know, having tags and policy-based access control, having um, integration sets where the system recommends how and what data needs to come together. In the performance area, we have recently added an MPP engine embedded in Denodo based on Presto open source. So that allows you to delegate a lot of queries down for caching or smart summaries, which are automatically created based on the kinds of queries. If you look at the overall platform, we're now offering it as a managed service on all the three clouds. So it was previously available on the clouds, if you will, as a uh, in the marketplace. Now it's a managed service. So, and then in our very core product, you know, our data virtualization engine is constantly improving in terms of its query optimization. So we've recently introduced uh, several more connectors. Our connectors are not light connectors. They go deep in understanding the underlying sources and how to delegate the queries down there. So I've just touched on a little bit of highlight, but the things I'm most excited about are of course the data catalog, the data marketplace, how we present the data, uh, our MPP engine, our managed service offerings, and AIML all through the platform. 
Well, now, I understand you are making an effort to work closely with new partners and alliances in our region. What can you tell us about your partner program? Sure. Um, the NODO was uh, very seriously into partners. Um, we, we've made a huge commitment in the last four or five years. So just to start at a very high level, and then I'll drill down into A and Z. Um, we have uh, basically three types of partners. We have our uh, systems integration resellers, what we broadly call our go-to-market partners. And I'll, I'll focus on that a lot. Linda here is part of that team. We also have a team that focuses on our strategic and cloud partners. So the, the three hyperscalers, you know, AWS, Azure, and GCP, but also we are now working with Alibaba International, but also the technology partners. As you imagine, Denodo sits in the middle of hundreds of data sources and hundreds of data consumers, right? So we have to be not only just having connectivity, but advanced integration with all of them. So that's the technology partner and the cloud and partner program. And now we're also developing OEM and embedded solutions, which, if you will, is the third types of partners. Now, coming back to the very first part, we have a very evolved program um, that basically um, journeys the partner from onboarding to sales and technical sales and you know, developer training. Um, we do co-marketing with them. So supporting Linda in Australia is also partner marketing, a partner sales engineer. So it's a kind of the whole program and they, of course, uh, get margins for sourcing opportunities or reselling opportunities, but even if they add value to opportunities, we bring to them. And then on the post-sales side, our partner program focuses on what we call partner success management. We have a customer success program, for work, which basically makes sure the customer adoption journey is accelerated, the same way we make sure the partner is part of what we call blended services. So customer, Denodo, and partner together accelerate the customer journey. So I would say one of the things before I go into specific names is Denodo's partner program is kind of, if you will, 360. We think of all of the phases of how we are successful with a partner. It's not just about, you know, you know, just the revenue we get or they get up front, but it's also about making sure that they're building a center of excellence. They are, they're with us in the, in the long journey towards customer success. Now, stepping back from that, uh, we look at the partners in, in Australia and New Zealand in kind of a couple of tiers. Of course, we have a tiered program, as most partner programs do in terms of, you know, silver, gold, platinum. And as they scale up, they also get more benefits. But even within the types of partners, um, we have our GSIs, our global systems integrators, where we have relationships. On this trip itself, I've, you know, visited with a few of them, EY, EY. Um, Capgemini, you know, Infosys, and, uh, you know, we work with Deloitte and the others as well. So th there is a strong relationship globally, but of course, the it's localized here with the partners and the practices uh, and the verticals that they like to focus on here. For example, we're having some very strong conversations around the, with a partner in the ESG area, you know, um, uh, environmental, social, and governance areas here, because that's important because you have a large resources, mining, transportation kinds of business, logistics business, where, you know, ESG is very important, just to give a flavor for that. Now, we also then work with what we call large um, um, local partners. Um, yesterday, we were with uh, one of the largest um, partners that has uh, its origins in New Zealand, but has a strong presence in Canberra, in the Australian government. Uh, we're working with another uh, Australian-owned uh, company. It's a public uh, company. Um, and I'll let Linda mention the names because some of these are under, you know, uh, we're in, in the, the process of, process contract, of contracting right now. So contracting and yeah. publicizing their names. Yeah. So we, we'll be coming out with a launch and announcement next week. Um, but we're very excited because these large SIs have um, very close trusted relationships with many organizations across Australia and New Zealand, and they've held those for many years. So whilst the GSIs we see as being very strategic, and they certainly are helping us innovate in our approach to market, as we've mentioned, the um, whole sustainability uh, issue right now is a hot topic. So we're working on a strategy with one of the GSIs to enter that space. Um, but then there's the more prescriptive, if you like, um, integration requirements that have been met by those large SIs who traditionally have had a very strong 
integration practice and are now building out a data and AI capability. So in discussion with them, they're very excited to see what Denodo can do for them. Um, so there's, I think there's a lot on the uh, roadmap for us in Australia and New Zealand with some new announcements coming out, as I mentioned. Um, and also there are the boutique partners yeah. and we value them immensely because they are very data centric. They live and breathe the whole you know, data science um, world that is you know, somewhat of a new concept for many of the traditional IT infrastructure partners. And uh, we have a healthy community of uh, specialist partners in that camp. Um, so again, I will be probably coming out with a list of those and we invite other partners who are curious about the program to contact us because we are in full blown recruitment mode right now to try and build this community out and make it as effective as possible. Well, now sort of back towards the partnerships, what sort of partnerships are you guys looking for in the region? Yeah, I'll uh, start this and then let Linda um, uh, uh, accelerate that. Um, from my perspective, what has worked very well to kind of open the market or kind of be innovative, uh, because we're a very innovative technology, are very data focused partners who um, data, AI, analytics, et cetera, but data being the underpinning, um, because they understand it and they understand the challenges of what I would call traditional data integration, which is moving the data, copying the data, replicating the data, and they kind of felt the pain. And so they, they can articulate that. But in order to scale, um, we all, um, we, so we, we really start that with that kind of what I would call data focused, but not too small, but mid-sized to growing companies as kind of like our um, centerpiece, if you will. And then our GSI relationships come in because they are strategic and advisory and they start off like we talked about ESG. Um, they're able to relate that technology to the transformative journeys that the companies are going. And then oftentimes they need execution partners, which they may not have. So we're also developing a lot of boutiques that we sometimes end up subcontracting or helping connect with the larger partners to do that. And then in a few cases, I would say this is not the main focus. We're also looking, yesterday I was in Canberra with a, with a small company. Again, I, I would love to say their name, but Linda is kind of holding me back. Um, they were very interesting because it's a husband and wife couple. One person comes from a communication, how the government initiatives and ministries need to kind of effectively deliver public policy. And then the husband was the technical person and together they're delivering a combination of services. So I'm using that as an example for what I call very, very specialized partners who bring a certain perspective um, that sometimes the generalist partners lack. So I would kind of touch on those four types, the, the bread, you know, the centerpiece being data focused, the large GSIs, the very small boutiques with the execution and delivery capability and the specialty partners. Well, now to finish off, if an end user or potential partner wanted to engage with Denodo, we've already touched on it briefly. What is the best way to get in touch? Me. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, across ANZ, I'd, I'd really invite people to um, come forward and, and find out, do, do a discovery session with us. Because whilst um, we would love to be talking to partners that have a mature data practice, the reality is that this is still a new and um, burgeoning industry. And so, as I said, there are um, partners who may have a traditional integration background, or they may have, um, perhaps they're dealing with the data visualization layer, you know, with, with uh, Tableau partners, for example, or Click or Power BI analytics. And we're happy to talk to them because we do fit in the middle. And the other thing that we have discovered is that many of the partners that are already working with vendors like Snowflake or Databricks will find value from collaborating with Denodo because we complement whatever they have in the back end. We're not there to displace any uh, strategy they may have around a data lake or a warehouse. We are in the middle, as we say, and we are surfacing information to um, or democratizing that data um, and surfacing that to users in the company. So 
come and discover what we do. Ask us to explain what we do. Even if we don't become you know, formalized partners and go to market together, we can facilitate um, those, uh, if you like, collaborations with some of our partners so that you can jointly go to market as a partner with one of our other um, certified partnerships. Yeah. So, so Tom, I think your question was also about end users and customers. So let me touch on that side. Certainly if it's partners, Linda's answered that question. Um, but we have, you know, we, we're a small flat team, so it doesn't matter what entry point you take, we'll make sure that they get the right attention. But I'll leave you with very kind of a crisp three things. If you go to our website, um, they can go to our website and just say, contact me if they want to have a conversation. If they are a little shy to do that, they can do Denodo, if they're and they are technical, they can download Denodo Express and kind of, you know, or, or one of our cloud trials and just kind of get their hands dirty right away. And some technical people don't want to talk to anybody. They just want to, you know, feel and use the product. Um, and of course, we have our sales team. So, and, you know, we have uh, people covering all parts of the region and BDRs. So when you come in through that, and then the last area I would say is we're running, you know, monthly lunch and learn webinars. We're running monthly architecture courses. So we welcome those people who have a need to enroll in one of those. And, uh, you know, that can be the start of the journey. So I've kind of given multiple options, right? So you can, you can go with the tool, you can contact us, you can contact Linda, or you can come into one of our marketing slash educational events and then kind of start the journey that way. Well, it has been great to hear from Donato and learn more about your partner program here at ANZ. It's been a pleasure having you both on the jam. We look forward to hearing more from Donato very soon. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you very much.